Hello, everybody. Flamin' Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to the first three episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. I'm excited for this. I really enjoyed the first season of Vox Machina. Of course, there's a hell of a lot more Vox Machina to adapt because there's a fuck ton of critical role. In fact, even that, this is, you know, obviously Vox Machina is only the first campaign. The, the, fuck, the point is there's a lot of content here. And um, it's it's exciting because the show was really fun. I thought I remember um, I really enjoyed the arc last time. I thought the first two episodes of the show were promising, but had some issues. And then I really fucking loved the like arc, basically that season one covered pretty much from episode three to episode twelve. I thought that arc with the Briarwoods focusing on Percy. I thought that was great fucking fantasy shit i thought that was great and, and you could obviously see how it how it kind of evolved from a, a game but uh, you know a DD game but i i definitely think that the storytelling was really cool and i thought it was very well adapted even though i've never seen the source material and i'm very excited for what comes next now i will say And we'll see what they do with it. I have quite a fair bit of faith this will be really fun. Because with Vox Machina, at the very least, you're going to get dumb, crude humor that's, you know, going to amuse me regardless for the most part. But I think dragons are overrated as shit. I think the concept of dragons are really cool. But my issue with dragons is it is the most fucking overdone thing in fantasy. It's so ridiculous. It's like dragons is just the thing, right? For good reason, I think, but nonetheless, it, it, I'm at a point with dragons where I just don't care most of the time, and more often than not, storylines regarding dragons tend to disappoint me. So I'm not sure, because obviously, if you remember where we left off with episode 12, we had a kind of teaser for season 2, which was basically, here's the dragons, 4 if I'm not mistaken, and that's where we left off, like, uh, the, you know... Um, Fuck, what's his name? Um, Uriel, the Sovereign, he basically stepped down and said that the council can basically run the kingdom of Tal'Dorei moving forward and, uh, you know, happily ever after, Vox Machina is our heroes and all this bullshit, and then the dragons show up. And now we enter season two immediately under siege, in a sense, from dragons. And I'm curious how they're going to handle this, but I just kind of have... Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Dragon storylines, so it is what it is. This is also my first day back. I recorded, you know, some hell of a boss earlier, which you guys will have seen, like, last week, probably over a week after this. You guys won't see this video for, um, a little over two weeks, actually. This is something that I, I wanted to start Vox Machina, get the videos up, so there's a good chance, and we'll see whether it's the case or not, there's a good chance if everything's going well, I'll... There's a good chance I've finished season two by the time you see this video. Maybe, maybe not. Um, hopefully, I'll at least have more of season two recorded, and I'll be recording them three, 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 just like last time. That's how they're released. They're released three at a time, which is uh, the perfect set for me. Um, so it works out perfectly to just do three episodes of Ox Machina every video. As long as they continue 12 episode seasons, they release them three a week, then that's probably how I'm going to react to this show. As long as they keep up that format that's going to be how you get Vox Machina reactions, like season one, like season two, and hopefully forever. Hopefully that's just the format. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I like this show a lot. I'm really excited to see my boy Percy. I'm excited for an arc focused on someone else. It could be the twins. It could be Keyleth. It could be Pike, you know, Grog, whoever, Scanlan, whoever. I want to see... An arc that, whether it focuses on backstories or not, I want to see an arc focused on another character. Because Percy is my favorite character, and he's my favorite... And to be honest, he's my type of character, so I'm not surprised. But he's my favorite character because he's the one that's had, like, the big lore dump arc about. You know, the, the Briarwood stuff was all about Percy, and, you know, we even, you know, got the stuff with, like, Cassandra and everything. And it's like, I am curious to see where we go 
with another character in that focus. Now, obviously, there's the there's the romantic entanglements that'll continue to be teased and developed and all that. But as and personally, I'm calling for Vex and Vax. I want Vex and Vax backstory. I think uh, they're really cool. I mean, I like everyone. Let's be real. But Vex and Vax backstory is what I'm feeling. I would be very excited for Keyleth backstory. I feel like Keyleth backstory should be one of the last ones because, you know, her kind is super powerful and her, her shit. And I feel like, I feel like we could save that for a while, um, later, later thing. I mean, who knows, but I, I, I'm feeling some Vex and Vax backstory this season. And I'm kind of hoping this dragon thing isn't the entirety of season two, even though in my gut, I kind of feel like this dragon thing is going to be the entirety of season two. And maybe, and maybe because of that, we won't get a lot of backstory, but I'm hoping we get some something similar to what we got for Percy, but for one of the other characters, or potentially two in the case of the twins, whatever. Um, yeah, that's just kind of my rambling thoughts heading into season two. So let's actually jump in. Season two, episode one, The Legend of Vox Machina. It is titled The Rise of the Chroma Conclave. Well, that's an interesting title. A conclave could be any type of group. I... I hear Conclave, I think Elves, I think Magic, but maybe that's referring to the Dragons? I guess we'll see. Uh, let's jump into Vox Machina Season 2, Episode 1, in 3, 2, 1, and play. Is that the vil- is the ri Oh, no, that's the Prime Video logo. I thought that was something else. Hopefully I won't have any issues with YouTube. Weeks, Amazon's been really been good. Set by evil, wearing the faces of monsters and men. I allowed strangers into our midst, okay. entrusting them with power they never should have had. Show Box looks Machina pretty good. Saved us from this threat. My weakness put the realm in jeopardy. Okay, this is basically the end of season one over again. again. And so, with humility, I hereby renounce the throne and cede the government to the Council of Tal'Dorei. These yeah, they weren't expecting that. I would love for Vox Machina, memes aside, I would love for Vox Machina to have a seat on the council, as dumb as that sounds. It was four, God right? Above us. It was four, right? One, two, three, four, yep. See, and then, yeah, it's the dragon, yeah. I didn't talk about this! Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course it's gonna be Vex and Vax. I fucking dumb at. I can't believe I didn't bring that up. Oh my god. I even made sure to specify it was four dragons. Interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna get my wish. Yeah, duh. This is gonna be fun. Alarm bells. I suddenly feel overdressed. Wow. Is, this part of the show? is that a kink joke? So, no. There's dragons. The call to arms! Mm-hmm. I am gonna turn this up. Okay, sorry, it was my first time using this pen. It had a little cover on the tip. Yeah, so Taldori is just getting fucked up. Get the sovereign to safety. Yeah. He's not even sovereign anymore. We need to get to safety. Sovereign, what do we do? Yo, what the fuck are you even supposed to do? Takes all down the children. It'd be bad enough if Quickly, it was. It would come. be bad enough if it was Demon one dragon. Shelf. Iman shall fall. Oh, we're gonna get to see Allura do something. Okay, she's a badass. Good to see. She's got some serious magic up in her. Oh Jesus, it's like poison or something. What the fuck? Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh fuck! Just like that. Well, that was ironic. <laughs> oh, 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 I love that! I love that! That was sick, and I love the background. Time has come 
for you. Ew. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, he's acid rain, and that's some quick work in acid. Bro, Allure is insane. What the fuck? I hope she, she's not gonna die. Hey, it's like the threat of fate, like in the season one OP. That's cool. I relate it to the red thread of fate because I watch too much anime. And anyone who actually watches anime will be like, no, you barely watch anime at all, but... I'm somewhere in between. A normie and a weeb. Damn. My boy, Purse. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. The fuck is that? Is that the... Oh. Are you, right? are you just seeing things? Is that Max. related to... Your backstory? Because <laughs> we're clearly getting Bex and back sauce. Yeah, I don't think your gun's gonna do much. Oh, nice! Okay. Good shit. Dragons attacking together. Need it, my shop. Like I said, maybe the dragons are the Chroma Conclave. Stay safe, sister. And we've separated our our siblings, which adds to my thoughts about getting Vex and Vax focused sauce this season. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Visually, it looks, it doesn't look that bad. I, it's hard to tell if it looks exactly the same. Maybe a downgrade, but the animation's fluid. It might also just be the files or just the art style trying to be a little darker. Delicious cattle. Rishon enjoys the taste of fear. I bet. Yeah, I was about to say, Keelit's the only person you have that could block that. You. I've seen you. <gasps> Those are pretty, but also ominous. Intruders. <gasps> Fuck all this. I'm too Interesting. Great. Yeah, Grog, if it was that easy, My favorite head chopper. it would not be a fucking art. Also, Head Chopper, great name. <laughs> wow, Scanlan. I don't think so. <laughs> Is that your best? Wait, it's got magic too? Vex, you got a plan? Sure do. Grog! Yeah, that, 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 that's always been the plan, you idiots. I'm already liking the way they're handling the dragons. They're really making these dragons seem like massive fucking threats. Like just the way they're just casually just eating everyone. Oh God, Percy, my boy! Holy fuck! Are we taking the long way to Gilmore's or something? Uh, oh. Yes, because of that. Yeah, don't forget, they're not one dragon. There's fucking four of them. And each one is more uh, deadly yeah, yeah, than the that, last. Oh boy, sounds good. People of Iman, Thordek demands capitulation. Submit to the Cinder key. I think I think the people would have capitulated if you gave them a chance. I don't think anyone wants to fight four dragons. Especially dragons that can do this type of damage. Jesus Christ, that was a fucking little fucking mini nuke. What the fuck? Oh no. Everlight, please! Jesus Christ, Percy's literally fucking dying over here. Incoming! Almost! Pike, make it quick! Okay, good to go! Move to Rolo! Good God, fucking acid rain, man. Police fire! Bro, they're just gonna take the whole fucking kingdom in episode one, and then the rest of the season I'm going to be trying to counter counterattack. That's fucking golden actually helped us. It's weird because I will say, as much as I fucking love the first season art, this kind of feels like the real beginning of Vox Machina in a lot of ways. 
Well, goodbye. Jesus Christ. Oh no, when you go blue, when the flames go blue, you know shit's fucked. That's when you're on that Azula time. Jesus Christ. Well, there goes Taldore. Bye bye, kingdom. You were good while you lasted. Yeah, who needs a council or anything? Holy fuck! Holy fuck! What a crazy way to start season two. Hear me, insects. You live out of mercy. Fight or flee and you forfeit that mercy. The dragons don't look that great, but I will say, I'd rather have the 2D with the 3D dragon. Chroma Conclave, yep. Yeah. Then just the... Like, that looks sick, though. That shot looks awesome. Bro, is this already... Oh, no, we're only not... I was gonna say, there's no way we're near the end of the episode. Yeah, you just need to find a way out. Oh, nice. I thought you guys were gonna be separated a lot longer than that. Wow. Shut the fuck up, Scanlan. Just deal with it, bro. Holy fuck! Bro, this shit is wild! What the fuck is going on? Not anymore! Well, I hope he didn't die. Oh no. Damn it, where is he? Hello? I mean, we saw him earlier. He's a tough guy, but. Oh He's god. There. Step back, Percy. I got this. <coughs> Don't move, old friend. I thought I'd lost you. It was very close. Just let me gaze into your brooding eyes. What the fuck? I shuffle off this mortal coil. You're not going to die. Not today. Yay. Oh man, that looked nasty. I'm sorry. The leg will have to wait. I'm tapped out. At least you healed my face. That's the most important. Yeah, of course, of well, course. Second most important. What the fuck? Everyone, bro, take whatever you need. Preferably discount item. Ah, screw it. Take it all. Go. All of these. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course she goes straight for the arrows. Rog likes this belt. Nice. So at first, scan man. Bro, Scanlan, hey, get finders keepers. Get fucked. Oh Bro. man, a broom? Weak. Something tells me that broom's gonna come in super close. Cool. dragon what? what? Wow. Of course. Wow. Uh, that sounds close. Good god. Good fucking god. <clears throat> if I clear my throat super freaking loud, I'm okay. I'm just getting over a sickness. By the time you guys see this, I'll probably be fine. I'm recording this, like I said. You know, 15, 16 days before you see it. Probably. Hey! It's good to see our favorite little bear. <coughs> Don't forget your broom. I'm alive! Oh, Gilmore, I'd kiss you right now, but you'd inevitably fall in love with me, and that'd be messy, so... Eh. Nice. Oh. So much for the crystal. Easy, friend. Thanks for getting us out of that. Hmm. Here we go. Interesting that Gilmore is kind of, you get at least temporarily, kind of... Awful vampire lord. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? It was cool. It radiates dark magic. Are you sure you know what it does? <laughs> sure do. Chops up dragons. That works. We're still too close to the city for my liking. I say we retreat to Whitestone. My sister will take us in. We can regroup and plan a counterattack. And meanwhile, Iman falls. The capital of this whole fucking continent. Yeah. We can't just abandon it. Percy's so right. Iman's the name I mean, of the city. On, that you makes see sense. Them? Yeah. Four giant dragons. 
Rather, yeah, what tell Dory the name of the fucking. Are it useless. is the name of the kingdom, They're right? Ancient and powerful. I'm not fucking dumbass. <sighs> You don't like those nasty old lizards either. Dude, don't all drink it. dude, all I could see they is called just Cora. The Chroma Conclave. When she she's I thought dressed dragons didn't get along. Blue that's and what has a bear. Me. It's so Their silly. alliance could mean the destruction of Tal'Dorei. Yeah, that's this could fuck. be the Four end of dragons is fucked. Yeah, there's the conclave. Yeah, but I'm come on. Civilization's overrated. I say fuck it. Let's hit Marquette. I've always wanted to go on a world tour. Yeah, real heroic, Scanlan. I thought we stopped running from our problems. The White Stone plan's Guys, the right plan. What if this is our fault? We killed that blue dragon, Brimscythe. Yep. Do yep. you think this is revenge? If it is, it's one hell of a payback. Look, if we want to kill those things, we'd need You've an army. You've killed one dragon. Amon had the biggest army in Tal'Dorei until Brimscythe dismantled it. Mm -hmm. This plan has long been in motion. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's at the gates. Is it gonna be the wife and kid? <gasps> oh Jesus, it's everyone. So many. Um, okay, hurry. You'll be safe in here. Everybody inside. It's gonna be fine. Oh, uh, and hey, if you go in my room, that's like a totally normal swing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't even know parents? what a sex swing would be. Oh, that's the wrong thing to say. Oh Ice dragon? <gasps> Yeah, it's gotta be the ice dragon. We got what? Ice, acid, fire, and. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell! Man. I do appreciate it, though. I, I, I Personally, I don't mind the blood at all, but, you know. I'm 25, so. <gasps> Yeah, he had the right idea. Holy shit. It's all up to you, Keyleth! We need a plan. Well, the, the fake out worked Yeah, because none of them are even remotely, like, in the ballpark power scale wise. Besides Keyleth. Keyleth's just not there. Not saying she's on that level either, but closer. That's kind of cool. It's like a almost like a heat seeking thing or it recognizes Wait, life forms. Get predictable? Starting to? Yeah, seriously. Oh, a little longer. Come on, little legs, run! Ow. Portals almost open. Now. Um. Keep the enemy. Repairs are coming along nicely. Ah, nice to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, Cassie. Gilmore, Gilbert, yeah, yeah, you guys have got it. Dude, that tree is about to get fucked. A fucking rhino dragon, what a base thing. Jesus Christ. Portal's closed, we gotta go. Down to the fucking wire. You've returned. And then some. Yeah. What happened? Imon's been attacked by variegated dragons. Four of them. Yep. They came out of nowhere. We barely escaped. Get these refugees to shelter. Separate out the injured and see that they get medical attention. Right away. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're fucked. Got it. I'll give you that. They just fucking took out the capital in the blink of an eye. Didn't even... Took them half an episode, pretty I much. Take care of it. If he's important to you, then he's important to me. Aw. Yeah. There's better people to take care of that. Oh, aren't you a tough little tyke? Uh... Okay. Well, that was terrifying. Well, Whitestone is secluded. We're safe for the time being. The rest of the world is a different matter. We need to get the word out. I love it. Maybe G give me Game of Thrones vibes it. with that vi what the map, us? or Song We're of Ice and Fire, of the House of the Dragon, whatever you I want. I know it doesn't mean anything, but maybe it should. And what exactly is the plan against four dragons? We can think of something. We've already taken one down. But we got lucky with Brimsight. Yeah, your best like chance. The size of these and your best now, chance would be to us. isolate them. I don't know Maybe if you could Ashari beat four dragons at once. I need to go for my Araminte anyway. Where mm. you should be going is Vasselheim. Vasselheim the oldest, huh? most defensible city in the world. 
Interesting. If you're looking for armies, your best chance is there. Vasselheim's run by religious orders. I've always wanted to go. <laughs> you don't, trust me. It's... <sighs> stuffy. Monks and nuns fighting dragons? Please, tell me you're joking. I'm a nobleman of Whitestone. Perhaps I could leverage diplomatic relations between our two cities. <laughs> Interesting. No, we're not strong enough for this. Now we're going all the way to Vasselheim? For what? <clears throat> to recruit more people to get killed? Skin, He's saying there's no have point. have to try, mm. right? Man, this escalated so fast. You don't have to do anything. I mean, we knew the dragons were coming. They teased us at the end of season Lost one. Damn mind. But this shit fucking yeah. escalated. We're I mean, still in episode one. The whole cloud top district. We couldn't even slow them down. Right? Pisses me off. In a slightly different manner. You're wondering where you went. And I got mm -hmm. hit in the head with this. Nice. Let someone else deal with the dragons, okay? Someone qualified. No one will. Just a bunch of assholes lucky enough to get out alive. Damn. Whoa. I'm getting right. to see the okay. sunrise and the night stone. They already rebuilt it. Town looked like shit till we saved it. We didn't nice. save a town. We saved them. Yeah, I was gonna say however you want, but however you want to frame it, you All guys you were heroes. Stand up and fight in for Whitestone. Them. Yeah. Then they stood up too. Yep. Not bad for a bunch of assholes who got lucky. We're all frustrated and scared. But the fight's not over. What do you say? Fight's never going? over. Up for not going quietly into the night? It's them. They fought the dragon. Shh. Hide. <laughs> You're a role model, Scanlan, whether you believe it or not. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. After all, I can't do my world tour without the rest of the band. I thought you were going to say without a world. <laughs> but yeah. You about to play a song? Legends speak of forces hidden in Vasselheim. Make your appeal for help at the Platinum Sanctuary. But failing that, seek out help wherever you can. I've never been to Vasselheim. My teleport spell only works if I'm familiar with the tree on the other side. I know the tree. You merely need to visualize it. Oh, okay. Um, maybe that'll work? What's the tree look like? Big. But not too big. What the fuck? Big buds. Oh, and a yellow. Her branches swaying in the breeze, a fabulous oak tree, maybe walnut. What the fuck? Uh, is that enough, Keyleth? Well, I guess let's find out. Onward. To Vasselheim. To Vasselheim! Let's Last one in is a troll dick! There's nothing. <laughs> Damn, the last thing you want to be- oh, I guess Percy's a troll dick. Yeah, she's got to take care of Whitestone. Percy will take care of the rest of the world. Let's hope they made it. For all our sakes. Well, at the very least, they probably ended up a lot closer. Good fucking god. I love how it kind of looks like a volcano now. It definitely looks like a dragon's den. Well, not a den, but like a fortress almost. Did you dispatch them most? But that group escaped with magic. They could gather forces against us. Let me go after them. No, Oregon. Keep to the plan. Oregon? This land and bring its spoils. And me, my king. Western is teeming with gold. Then you shall claim it for me. And once you have, Umbrasil, hunt down those vermin. Show them the wrath of the Kuma Conclave. Okay. So Fire Dragon's the king, unsurprisingly. With pleasure. Acid Dragon's a little snake, you can just tell. Not just because he's green boy, but because he's a fucking little snake. That's so cool looking, holy shit. Wow. That's funny, that's funny as fuck. That was, that happened. That was a lot. Holy fuck. Yeah, Rise of the Chroma Conclave, indeed. Curious to see if the OP is the same or any different. Mm. 
Meta pigeon. Chirp, baby, it's Titmouse. And there's Amazon. Okay, that was an episode that happened. That was an episode of all time, as the kids say. <laughs> no, but seriously, that was the season two premiere of Vox Machina. That was the rise of the Chroma Conclave. Um, Conclave. And uh, that was fucking nuts. Wow. That was... Um, it's funny. We did This did all start with the dragon, though, to be fair. So it's kind of cool that we're back to dragons, even though, again, I'm not... It's not that I hate dragons. It's just that, like, every fantasy thing does dragons. So it's kind of just like... If you've seen enough fantasy at some point, unless you're a massive fucking dragon stan, at some point you're going to get sick of them. That was fucking sick, though. I love how... And, and this is where you get the inspirations of it being a D&D &D game where, you know, we have this comfort zone built up and then in a snap of a finger, the, you know, the um, Game Master? Is that... The, it's not Dungeon Master. What the fuck is the name of the term? DM. It is DM. It's Dungeon Master, isn't it? Whatever. The fucking Game... Uh, the, 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 the Game Master, Dungeon Master... The DM, I'm just going to say DM because I know that's correct. The DM can just, it's like, okay, it's time for a new, it's time for a new story, you know, in our, in our, in our journey. And then just boom, he could just fuck everything up. You know, he or she or whoever, right? They fuck everything up. And that, you get that vibe here, right? That it's like, okay, we did the big thing. We did the big Briarwood thing. Boom! And everything just you just throws the whole world um, up on its head. I can, like I can feel that, but it comes across very, in, very spicy in in a, in, a, in a show format. It comes off very daring and and, and and exciting, and and it leaves me very interested in what's to come. And now we have this journey to try to build up forces that can. Um, combat for dragons. Meanwhile, the dragons, so with the king is just gonna chill, you know, in a mon or whatever, but the other dragons are gonna head out looking for more loot, just kind of raiding the countryside and all that shit. And that's cool. But what I really like about this whole setup is we're in a position now where now our protagonists, Vox Machina, have to go out around the world, essentially, and find people who can stand up against this force. And I think that's that's really interesting because it's a cool way to expand our, uh, our world, to learn more about the world that we inhabit in this show while also meeting new people and, and new, new characters, new, um, you know, groups and all that, and just expanding. Because the thing is, is in season one, it was the world was kept pretty self-contained. Like, we went to Whitestone... And that was pretty much it. Now we get a little more, perhaps a little more worldly traveled in season two as we look for people that can help us fight off these dragons. It's fun stuff. I really like the setup here. And you're set up with this dragon storyline that isn't going to be too over focused on dragons. Like we're set up for some interesting like political gambits and some interesting stuff outside of just trying to fight massive dragons. There's a lot of other intrigue that's been set up for whatever we're going to do as we move further into season two, which I love as well. There's a lot going on there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for what they come up with, with where they go with this. So really fun first episode. It felt long because that shit was so fucking insane and they just dropped the bomb on you quite literally with the dragons literally destroying the, um, the capital and just everything getting fucked that it was a very instant, just kind of, boom, the bomb. Like, we start the season without fucking around in the slightest. Like, everything's fucked up. Boom, here we go. That's just it. That's where they go. And I, I really appreciate the suddenness of that, that they didn't waste any time. They just said, hey, we're we're dropping this, we're, we're doing this shit, and, and they, they did it. And that that's kind of just it. That's what they did. And the strength of that is felt in the narrative. It really feels like, holy shit, this is crazy. That was a big moment. And now we've been set off on our new journey, 
which probably will last the rest of the season, if I had to guess, but we'll see. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I like that episode a lot. Good way to start the season, and I'm curious to see, um, one, whether we end up in Vasselheim. Uh, the title is The Trials of Vasselheim. Okay, and now I actually have a proper spelling. I ended up spelling it V-A-S-A-L. I took a guess that it would be only one S. I was wrong, but also it just, that was still wrong. It is a V, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't like this pen. V-A-S-S-E-L-H-E-I-M. Oh, this pen is, this pen is really sussy. It is a sussy pen. It is streaking. I don't, I'm not liking this pen right now. Whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, the Trials of Vasselheim next episode. So obviously we are going to make it to Vasselheim. The Trials could be, I assume, are going to have to do with the type of stuff that um, was being described. But I guess we'll see where that goes. I'm excited. And yeah, I mean, here we go. Vox Machina to season two. Like, I like how just, boom, like, here we go. We're on our adventure. Like, it felt like there was no time wasted. We, like, we're, here we go. And I like the suddenness of that. Just like, we're, the boom, like, there's no wasting time. It's just time to go. And now, and now we're off to the races, so. Fun stuff, but like I said, I'm, I'm ready for the next episode, so let's check out Season 2, Episode 2 of The Legend of Vox Machina. Alright, let's jump in to The Trials of Vasselheim, Season 2, Episode 2 of Vox Machina in 3, 2, 1, and play. I got a pen that works, that doesn't annoy me. Mm. Well, there's a tree. They got the wrong tree. It worked? <laughs> I can't believe it actually. Oh, shit. Nice. Guys, stop. No, no, no. Don't step in. Wow. Pike, grab my claw. Wait, what? Wow. She catches us. Nice. <laughs> the landing's going to be a bit rough. I'll save our asses with some fun stuff. Well, you saved their asses with some butt Before stuff. I met you, I would have found this very upsetting. He he went face first into that ass. Oh, he actually ended up. These titties were here. Not quite titties. <laughs> that works though. What? Okay. Yeah. That was not it, my It's fault. butt stuff. I told Keeper Yenin I have to know the tree. I mean, she was so vague. Whoa. I think you made Guys, it to Vasselheim. We made it. Is that Vasselheim? Uh, Vasselheim. Oh my Vasselheim. god. Vasselheim. Bro was about to say vaginal. Only chance. Well, not necessarily. Okay, OP, OP. Looks the same. Yeah, it looks like it's the same. Okay, they didn't change it, which I get, you know, budget and stuff, but it would have been cool. Especially given the fact that, like, season, um... Especially given the fact that the city's fucking destroyed. That's what I was talking about by the thread of fate. Yeah, it's a yellow one in the OP of this show. They have, like, the thread of fate that ties everyone together. Yep. Yeah, that OP feels a little outdated. That felt very, pretty season one-y for the most part. Remember, we're we'll not see. tourists. We need to find allies to fight the Conclave. I have a good feeling about this place, Percy. Don't worry. Oi, state your business. Good sir, I am Lord Percival Frederick Stein von Musil-Koloski de Rollo III. Nice, and I require nice. Audience with the Don Marshals well, of my the... name's Rob and I require a sandwich. You're holding up the line. <laughs> you don't understand. I have diplomatic credentials from White. You want the marshals? I... Go to the Platinum Sanctuary and find him yourself. Now, good day. Fair enough. Um, did he say good day? 
Wow. Percy really wanted to use oh, his fucking shit. And the bear wipes. Wait outside, yes we know. Aw. Yeah, it does happen a lot. To be fair, if there was any place, it would be the far north course, where they would darling. let the bear. I'm sure it happens to all the nobles. Oh my god. I, I'm so ready for Vex and Percy to fuck. I want that so bad. I don't know. My only question is, do I want to be Vex or do I want to be Percy? I don't know the answer. Good day. Good day. Good day. Oh, good day. Good day. Oh, good day. Tourists. <laughs> good day. Do not confuse it with bidet. You're telling me people choose to live here? Yeah. Seems Almost like a nice every place. Every deity is represented. The Wild Mother. Oh, the Storm Lord. Storm Lord. The Law Bearer. The Dawn Marshals head each temple and decide what Vasselheim will or will not do. With my expertise in statecraft, I can negotiate terms. All due will... respect, we saw your statecraft back at the gate. I think it's worth a shot. I think it's, it's better than what. This is a temple. Yeah, but you're not. You're not your typical you. priest. Yeah, me, a holy person. I got this. Uh, I don't know. You're. You're not the. The simplest holy person represent. Can expand the quadrant. Uh, pardon us. We come seeking an audience. I am High Bearer Ford. The Platinum Sanctuary will hear your business. High Bearer, I am Pike Trickfoot of the Everlight. A great evil has befallen Taldori. You see, dragons. The water reveals the truth. Mm -hmm. Grant us vision. Oh, well, that works. That works. Yeah, that's lovely. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they just like, yeah, the water will show us. This evil must be met with holiness, which is why we humbly ask all the mighty temples of Vasselheim to lend their aid. You have our sympathies and our hospitality, but that is all. You won't help us? You have weapons, ballista, armies. You have the strongest city in the world. Uh, diplomacy demands... Let me correct you. Vasselheim's most potent weapon is not its artillery, young man. It's, it's, sw it's it Switzerland. Isolation. Switzerland. This city yeah. has stood for millennia mm -hmm. by keeping the affairs of Taldore. Outside. Sure, that makes sense. If you turn your back on this, more will die. Vasselheim could be next. When peril arrives here, our walls stand ready. Mm. But until then, I can respect it. Is yours alone. You know, isolationism no, and day. basically neutrality. <laughs> I think you mean bidet. God. Fucking bidets. Damn. Well, it didn't look like everyone agreed. It takes us ten minutes to get kicked out of a palace. Fair we're, enough. We're getting better. You keep seeing this. This is some fucking. Na, na, now it's Vex's demon of death care. to go along I with mean, fucking Percy's. Sorry, Vex's. Spying on us? Yes, I mean, no. Uh, I mean, I heard what you said in there, and I know who you are. Listen, I serve the High Bearer, so I can't say much. But if you're slaying dragons, you need the Slayer's take. Interesting. Absolutely not. The marshals are bound by politics, but there is someone at the Slayer's take who can act independently. They'll want to hear from you. Ask to speak to their patron. And please, forget you ever met me. No. So I'm assuming the Slayer's, the take, Slayer's is take is some sort of bar or something. Don't ask. You two. A group of hunters for hire. Vasselheim used to be surrounded by legendary beasts until the take cleared them out. Legendary beasts? Like dragons? <sighs> hmm? Oh, the fucking sword. No. Oh. Yeah, cheers, Ooh, buddy. We got that that plot line Never still had existing. Pension, but we're short on options. Options? Oh, didn't realize painful death was an option. Uh -huh. You forget. Yeah, you might as I well try it. I have friend on the inside. Oh, no. Zara? Friend is a generous Zara, huh? If there's a chance, even a small one, we have to take it. We're in a whole I've city. I've already written the name down. You say we take a leap of faith. Wow. <sighs> I mean, I guess why not at this point? I mean, what other options do you have? It's not like you have oh, uh, hunger for blood, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not your stomach talking. Fuck. I am not. That sword makes me very uncomfortable. 
Wow! Okay, that's terrifying. Well, they spelled some of it right. Wow. <laughs> Remember, no one in the Slayers take us to be trusted. Just keep your cool, find their patron, and get the hell out. Ooh, can we go to hell while we're here? On Vax? <laughs> Scanlan, we don't have time. Yeah, it's like a guild well, hall. hello there. Oh, no. I feel like I haven't met oh, you. Oh, Lord. Much. Oh, nice, nice oh, eyes. Me? But you. Ah, you have those faces. They're, they're just so familiar. Where have I seen them before? <laughs> oh, that's right. You're famous. Eyes up, gang. We got ourselves a bounty. Nice! <laughs> nice wheelchair, guy. What did you do? Well, unless you want your skulls ground into powder, you might want to step back. Right, Grog? Yeah, Grog didn't Grog? even show up. Oh, shit. We lost Grog? Yeah. Cla he's too busy eating or drinking. I should have assumed it was drinking. Maybe he was eating too. Uh oh. Alright, time to find my friends and save the world! You. What the fuck? Oh. Well, that. Whoa. Fucking look like. Looks like fucking. Thor or. or, or fucking old Thor. Whoa. Maybe you take on Odin, nice that look like some Norse too. shit. <laughs> Hello? A lot of this looks like it was inspired <laughs> by <laughs> Norse kind of architecture, too, so it fits. Architecture in quotes, but you know. Yeah, it feels very Norse, which makes sense given again the name Vasselheim and. Are you the patron? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry to wake you. Uh, oh, you see Ganses, Grog Strongjaw. <gasps> you know my name? A question. Did you say yours already? And no. No, he's just a I sussy. Am Earthbreaker Groom. Earthbreaker, Anyone huh? Entering the Storm Lord's ring seeks something. No you are shit. Different. Okay. Since you asked, uh, we do need to fight these dragons. Uh, the Storm Lord is not concerned with dragons. His interest is in warriors. But you are no warrior. Oh, the Your Storm Lord, very weakness. Oh. Weak. You got the wrong guy. The answers you seek. Is he blind? Is given. Fucking tough in the here. field of combat. Uh, but you're like old. Come now, strike me, and you will learn what you lack. Interesting. Mm, this feels real weird, but fuck it. Yeah. Let's get up. Why not? Grandpa. I mean, you're getting challenged to a fight. It's not like you could turn down the fight, Ooh, right? Tough spot. Go for it. Who's the Not friend? Not the first time I've been wanted, if you know what I mean. I'm Vex. What Zara's the fuck? very close friend. Cash are. But you can call me Cash. What like the fuck? Money. So clever. You are very close to me. Hey, Z, <laughs> are you expecting annoying visitors? Bro. <laughs> visitors. What? No. You sound like the same fucking voice actress. Maybe she is. Probably is. <laughs> Darling, still sharpening your horns, I see. Yes, and you're still sticking dead things in your hair. What's the last time we saw each other? Was it? Oh, I know. Ex girlfriend? When you us to poach my monster and steal the take's reward. Nice. You heard about our little prank? Huh. Prank. You're not as charming as you think, Vexalia. You never were. She really isn't. Mm. As much as I'd love to chit chat, we're actually on urgent business. I love business. the way these two are talking to, to each other. Patron? It's based. No one sees her, especially not someone okay. who owns the take. It's a female How much was it woman. Cash? Twelve thousand gold or the head of a hydra. Got either on ya. Twelve thousand is nothing compared to the horde of a dragon. A dragon. Four, actually, all incredibly wealthy. Help us, and that wealth could be yours. <laughs> Please. They're destroying Taldore, killing innocent people. This isn't about money. This is about saving lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let fucking Vex talk. 
I know she's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, love. The Slayer's deck doesn't do anything for free. Well, she didn't now, say that. Let's discuss your payment plan. With interest. So you're, I mean, killing them doesn't seem like a good idea. If you want money, you unless you're destroyed. just down Look, for that. We're not here to fight you. Oh, this will be easy then. Oh, hey, it's like their own grog. Damn it! Don't you get it? We're trying to save the fucking world! Not sure I want to know what that was. That's the patron! I will take care of Vox Machina. Oh, you know who they are. You heard her. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're tapping out. Bro, this is literally some fucking Star Wars fucking pit shit, only it's sentient. Good Where god. Do you find your strength? Sentient? It's... You, you know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Like, it talks and shit. You walk between worlds. Weakness in mind and weakness in conviction. Hmm. Where does your strength come from? We got this fucking oh. Grog mini training art. I wasn't ready. I'd love to see you try that again after I... Damn. Dude, Grog training art? Meanwhile, whatever... I said not a fan of the sudden drops today. Time to talk to the patron. I recall you saying you were friends with those people. Oh, I like... All of a sudden, the, the, the screen got, the right like, gravelly. At least they can't murder us down here. But whatever that is, Ken. Maybe they want to help. Interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Hello? God, this city blows. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Usually, you know, come back. Weapons are useless here. You're scared. I wonder, how do you hope to avenge a man when darkness makes you Four tremble feet. like children? Are Tail. you the patron? How astute. <laughs> Looks like a griffin. Osisa, chosen of the knowing mistress. Osisa? And patron of the Slayer's take. A sphinx. I was about to say, oh, very I didn't Egyptian. Realize they still existed. We humbly seek your aid. Yes. You hope to save Taldori. You know of the dragons. Please, we're desperate. But you haven't the slightest idea what it will cost. What will it cost? Oh shit, what are- dude, are we about to get some crazy psychological shit? Oh, it infects and backs now! The twins. Oh, you yes. depended entirely on your sister. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I'm here for this. Hopelessly seeking your father's love. Damn. Both unprepared. Oh, we're psychologically breaking them down. And Grog is having it here. Oh, this is great. Where does your strength come from? I'm loving this. Why do you keep saying that? You wield such a dark weapon. A reliance that proves your frailty. Damn. Why would I listen to the cursed heir who wallows in self-pity, <clears throat> begging to be trusted again? Damn. She's testing you guys. Yeah, she's testing. This holy warrior. You don't even have faith that you can save those dearest to you. <laughs> this doesn't have to be a fight. If you won't help us, we can leave. Fleeing from your duties again. <laughs> Tell me, what do you fear more? Failing your Aramente, or knowing no one will live long enough to see you achieve it? Jesus! Playing on that psychology of You don't have fucking... to call on my shit, okay? I know I can be kind of annoying. No one cares about you. <laughs> I'm no different. 
Jesus. Jesus! That was the most savage one of all. That's all, that's all the fucking Sphinx had to say. Where does your strength come from? It's like Ocelius or whatever. I'll, I'll figure out the name after the episode. You want me to say my muscles or my rage, but I know it's my heart. That's my real strength. Wrong. Interesting. Paralyzed by fear. You want to turn your back and run like you have all your lives. <laughs> How do you expect to save the world if you can't even save yourself? Uh, yeah. We're psychoanalyzing them. Everyone's trying to test them because they see the potential in Vox Machina. I don't know. I've seen the same for a hundred years. Fools who think they can make a difference but can't deliver. Leave now with whatever dignity you have. I'm not leaving, not giving up, until someone listens. And if I don't, would you sacrifice your life just to prove a point? I don't care if I die, none of us do. But we're not leaving. We won't be ignored. That's you respectful. What you need, the will to give <clears throat> everything. Yeah, the will to sacrifice everything. You know, it's the classic. It's the classic thing. You know, it's the uh, how how. You have much to learn about being a warrior. How can you expect it, people to follow you if you're not willing step. to do it yourself? You know, take on the king, the king's road of sorts. Shouts to my boy Lelouch. I already have. Good talk. You'll need strength to defeat the dragons, but also knowledge. Knowledge? Of what? The dragons? The vestiges <clears throat> of divergence. The fuck? The vestiges of divergence? In the great the calamity, these weapons of war were created to strike down the gods themselves. Huh. Believed too powerful for mere mortals to wield. The vestiges were scattered across the lands, buried, lost, forgotten, or perhaps waiting to be found. The Deathwalker's ward is one such vestige. The, Death the matron Walker's of Raven's ward. own armor lies entombed by a lake to the west. <clears throat> and the other vestiges will be revealed in turn. Find this one. And bring it to my mate. Nice. Big fan of mating over here. What the fuck, Scanlan? As the knowing mistress heals an exile to protect her sacred wisdom, we must remain apart. It pains me. Yet it is for a greater good. He. Oh, he will await you. Use these vestiges against the dragons. You must not fail. Writing the imbalance these horrid creatures bring depends on your success. All right. Thank you. We won't let you down. It's not me you need to worry about letting down. It's yourselves. Only each other. Oh, yes! Who do you think Ostisa killed first? I'm so Probably here for this. No, oh, probably the little one. Perfect. This episode. does feel like a, a natural es es escalation. Osisa asked us to find something for her. Our patron has a job for you. Guess I'm quite charming after all. <gasps> what? I say it was nice catching up, but it wasn't. Damn, that hate fuck would be hot as fuck. I'm just saying. Bro. Vasselheim wasn't what we expected. I have a fair bit to say about this army, episode. This this was hot. Self-confidence, yeah. Huh. That's a new one for us. Step one, find the vestiges. Step two, kill some dragons. Step three. Mmm, profit? <laughs> How about step one? <laughs> they did the meme. Grog! Uh. What happened to you? 
Oh, an old man beat me up. So, booze. Well, yeah. <laughs> right, first round's on you, big Yeah, we'll do the booze first. No? Ah, come in! Wasn't sure I'd find a black powder dealer here in Vasselheim. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, what the fuck, he's, Boomy? It's booming! <laughs> it's literally <laughs> fucking Boomy over here. Relax! It's only coffee. I think... You know, you're the second person to buy black powder this week. Really? Do you recall what this other customer looked like? Oh, sure. I remember her well, because she had one Oh, hand. no. Kinda Dr. Like Ripley! I've learned from my mistake. Dr. Ripley. Ripley. Yes! Something wrong, Percy, dear? No. Oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Hey, don't blow yourself up! Bye. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you dumbass. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that was a really funny ending to the episode. Okay, Ripley's here. That was a really good episode. I really like that. I really like the direction we're taking the show. I will say. I like these little, like, art pieces, too. They didn't do these in Season 1's credits. Um, it feels like we're really on a really natural progression arc for Vox Machina, and again, I'll talk about it more in a second. I was gonna record some other stuff after this, but I'm kinda, man, I do really like this show, and because it's, like, not, like, because I only have like 12 episodes at a time, I'm really tempted to kind of just maybe go to six and then do the other six at another time. I was just going to do my first set, but I might record more. I don't know. We'll see. I could decide after I do episode three. But that was season two, episode two of Vox Machina. That was The Trials of Vasselheim. And that was another episode that felt kind of long. Like It felt like we watched more than an episode, even though obviously it was just a regular episode. So... What I really like about this episode was, um, and it was focused through the Sphinx, but also the old man for Grog, but we really kind of dove into these characters a little bit, and the fact that they have the potential to be these great heroes, and they've already showed that in the first season of the show, but to truly reach their potential and be the people that they can become... They're going to have to overcome many trials, but the greatest trial of all that they're going to have to overcome is themselves, because for most of their lives, they've been shitty assholes, and they're going to have to overcome themselves and their own insecurities and their own fears, and even though they had that moment of, hey, we're not going to back down, we're not going to go down without a fight, we're going to do everything in our power to be these pe these better people to be these heroes because so much about Vox Machina, it it it's it's framed through the idea of being like the heroes that save the world, but it's really about these regular assholes becoming better people. That's that's um a, a huge core of this, and it's about becoming a better person is a huge part of what Vox Machina is all about, and that's one of the reasons why I think it's a very charming show because sometimes with some of these more like crude, um you know, fucked up shows like this, a lot of the times they have, you know, these very negative messages, but I feel like Vox Machina is very uplifting and it, it does it in a really cool way. And I feel like we're really starting to dive into that on a deeper level. Now, obviously with, we had a whole thing about that with Percy, but it looks like we're going to get focus on that for everyone. And, and we had it with other people, right? We had it with Percy. It was a big theme last season with Pike and everything, but what I really like about this is how we're really emphasizing the fact that they're going to have to overcome not just four dragons and whatever other challenges to get these um, vestiges, but also they're going to have to overcome themselves and each other. And in many ways, that could be the biggest trial that they actually face. I love that storytelling. It and not only is it just really interesting in general, I think it's very fitting for these characters who are not your typical heroes, right? They fill more of an anti-hero role as being assholes who, for you know, have basically, you know, through a series of circumstances, have basically kind of been thrust into a hero role and have, for the most part, embraced it and 
continue to over time. So really good stuff. I really liked that episode. I really like where season two is going on, uh, going. I, I, like I said, I love how we just burned everything down in the first episode. I thought this episode was a great way to continue on. And we didn't, you know, the Vasselheim thing was just a single episode. Like it didn't drag on. And like I said, it looks like we're going to keep moving and, and really getting a big feel for what this world is like and getting a lot more of this universe in season two, because it doesn't look like things are dragging on at all. Like things are moving very quickly, which I'm all for. I have no problem with that. Like I said, this pacing feels very natural, but it's also moving fast. And, you know, I, I sometimes I like uh, I like when a series moves slow, but I can always appreciate when a series keeps moving along, keeps you on your toes. You don't get complacent. You don't get stuck in one place. It just it keeps the plot keeps moving. That's really cool. So. I like what we're doing here, and um, this is this has been a really good premiere so far, and we have one more episode left in our Season 2 premiere of Vox Machina, so I'm just very excited to see what else we get out of our first foray back since our um, first ever break, because this is the Season 2 premiere. It's so fun to get back into the show. I think this is one of those shows that I don't think I'm going to... It's kind of just going to be one of those shows that comes on and off and, you know, I react to a new season when it comes out and whatever. But I think this is going to quietly become like one of my very beloved shows over time. And I I don't want to say necessarily too quiet because obviously like I'm watching and I'm loving the show. You guys are seeing my reactions, but I feel like this is going to be one that's a little under the radar. But at a certain point, I think I'm really going to look at this show and be like, damn, this is like kind of one of my favorite shows going today. I wouldn't say I'm at that point yet, but I definitely get the feeling that, you know, given given a couple more seasons, I think we're going to be there. This show is really cool, and, and um, it, it feels like it's trending upward, which is one of the best things I could say about a show, is when it, it's going in the right direction. Very fun stuff. So I'll have to check some names here before we jump into episode three which is apparently called The Sunken Tomb, which makes sense because we're going to get the um, the dark something. I don't even know what the fuck it was called. I'll probably write the name down, like I said, once I check in between episode two and three. But the vestige that we're trying to get the first one, that's probably what The Sunken Tomb is all about. So that should be interesting. And then, like I said, we'll see where it goes from there off to the the next reaction and the next reaction and the next reaction and then we'll be done with season two. That's how this works. But um, really fun stuff. I'm really loving Vox Machina. I'm really excited for more. So hopefully hopefully you guys are uh, with me on this. This has been a really good premiere. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm very excited for more. So let's jump into the sunken tomb and see what that's all about. All right, let's jump into the Sunken Tomb, episode three of Vox Machina, season two, and three, two, one, and play. Prime video, baby. Okay, back in Amon, yeah. Oh. Interesting. Your offerings grow ever smaller. Ah, uh, they're trying. Yeah, gotta love a good old dragon horde. I trust the remaining treasure has been wrung from Iman. As you commanded, Thordak, every last ounce Thordak, delivered huh? to your feet. And Westron is on the brink of ruin, my king. More are soon to follow. And once all is in order, the entire realm shall quake in our shadow. As for your kind, it seems your useless bubbles are no longer needed. Run! Run! Um... I'm gonna assume that was like a light thing? Because... Yeah, like where we left off, that had like nothing to do with where we left off, but I'm assuming that was like some like light manifestation thing. 
and not the actual pike. Dude, why is Vex so hot? Back to the dragon, murdering people. Yeah, that's what I figured. Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? No. The dragons, they're moving. Expanding across Tal'Dorei. Oh, you saw them in your head? A vision granted by the Everlight. The red one. The others called him Thordak. That's such a weird he name. Just wiped them out. I I couldn't save them. Mm-hmm. I know we come from all over, but Iman was the first place that accepted us. It sure. kind of felt like our home. It was they even gave pretty us much. a title. And we'll live up to it. When we find the tomb and find that fucking vestige. Well, I've got good yeah, news and bad news. One of the vestige of di okay. vestiges of divergence. First. I found the lake Osisa told us about over the next ravine. From? Fantastic. Let's go. Wait, the bad news? Yeah, let's hear it. Ah, it's frozen. No tomb. No temple, no ruins, no nothing. It's not an illusion either. Did the Sphinx lie to us? It must be across the lake. <laughs> it's in the lake. We can it's still like the it it's like, like the lady in the lake. This is a fucking we're talking about. Yeah. I doubt it'll be waiting for us wrapped in gift paper. We have to be careful around here. Sure. All of us. Yeah, seriously. Not to worry. Here, I'll slide over and check it out. Bros, ice skating. Uh, I'm sure you do love having a foot fetish. Until it isn't, you dumb shit. <laughs> uh, something just moved under the ice. <sighs> Some siren bullshit about to go down here. Scanlan, what's going on out there? I, uh, I think uh, it's fine. I'm sure this ice is super thick. I just recharge the old scan juice. And you're fucked. Hold on, Scanlan. Well, that was stupid. Shit. Keyleth, can you... I don't know. Be a bird or something. Oh, be a bird or something. Anyway. What the fuck? Now that was helpful. Jesus Christ. Nice arrow. Close oh. fucking call. Oh, which one of you guys saved me? That would be us. Oh. Oh, nice to Cash? see you. Sara, what are you? She said thought you might need our help. Obviously, she was right. Oh, generous. <laughs> oh, so generous. Well, at least Antlers here is happy to see me. Hey. Right. Oh, no! Yeah, I mean. What the shit just grabbed me? Very turned Adaro, on. Fish people. They hunt at dusk. Darrow, huh? morning to find the tomb. You know about the tomb. Oh, we're full of secrets, which we'd be happy to share. As soon as you make us a campfire. The fuck? The tomb was built for the matron of ravens, the goddess yep. of death. That's hot. It enshrines the body of her ancient champion, the highest of her order, striking fear into the hearts of her enemies. His name was Pervon. Pervon. <laughs> Pervon? Last name, <laughs> Pedo Bear, maybe? Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get your perv on. Yeah, you gotta get your the perv on. Suck. Love. They suck a but lot. The gave up everything for his god. She won't let her treasures go so easily. <laughs> Speaking of treasures, where'd you pick up that beauty? Oh, this old thing. Well, I had to kill a demon for it. Don't be jealous. 
Not at all. In fact, we just picked up quite a haul of magical items. Didn't we, Scanlan? What? You mean the shit we took from Gilmore's? Yes, obviously, the shit we took from Gilmore's. Ooh, a broom. broom. That broom oh, is gonna be clutch. Oh, you have such a Stop clean shitting eye on the value. broom. <sighs> Shut it, Zara. Well, that's an belt. interesting and yet chunky belt. What's it do? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Yo! Badass! <laughs> I, I want that belt. That's all. I got Dude, he's a fucking I Viking now. Okay, that's it's awesome. Bro, what the fuck? Anyway, the Slayer's take assumed the tomb was destroyed centuries ago. Turns out it's still there. You must be fairly annoyed that Osisa told us about it before you. Oh, oh. Hadn't crossed my mind. Yeah, that the totally not. They're totally in no way, shape, or form is she the slightest bit jealous and wants to viciously hate fuck uh, Vex. I mean, us. what? We obviously can't trust them. Zara and Cash, no. And we can't take any more chances tomorrow, sister. Do not go far from me. Aww. He really. We've been saying that our whole life. I'll be fine. Get some sleep. He really is, bro. Yeah, dude, you need to fall in love with Keyleth again and not, 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 not go down this incest path. Whoa, that was a, that was a nice it's transition. A bad idea. Just hurry. Father could be back any moment. Ooh, back when with Papa and Mama were still around. It's beautiful. What are you? Gives me uh, that gives me like. Oh Jesus Christ! It, it was an accident. That was giving me I like uh, Greek god been vibes. Through generations of elven nobility. I'm sorry, Father. I just. Of course, you and your diluted brother don't understand diluted elven culture. Brother. You were not born into it. You are nothing but a mistake. That's enough. Don't you dare talk to her like that. Oh, he's about to hit you. Vex, get your things. No, no, we don't need to. Yes, we do. Goodbye, Father. Jesus. Don't bother having us followed. And the interesting. That's not a dead father. Interesting. That's not what I was expecting. I like that. That's different than what I was expecting. We pulled this from the Slayer's take You two are idiots. Now see if you can follow me. Lake. Tomb. Then your map's wrong. Look, the tomb here is upside down. Osisa is older than time. She doesn't make mistakes. Perhaps the tomb isn't upside down. <laughs> Water. There it is. It's underwater. Right. So I suppose mm -hmm. everyone grab a bucket and we'll have this emptied by springtime. Actually, we were thinking earth, wind, and fire here could assist. Earth, wind, earth, wind, oh, me? fire. Oh. <laughs> so I, I'm not great with water yet. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Just use Well, they did call you earth, I'll wind, fire back. after all. Ready? Hmm. Okay, yeah, just make a fucking, like, yeah, just make a fucking maelstrom. That works, I guess. Or just part the Red Sea. That also works. Damn, she actually parted that shit. This is very cool. Everyone down. Now. Um... Something tells me you don't uh, do you don't open with a force, yeah. Or that, yeah. After you. Nice and closed up. Now we're under the water. Better hope that 
Smells like it freeze fish over? and death. Aren't those the same thing? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's not terrifying. That's not completely creepy, especially when you're at the fucking Pavon. goddess of death's, like, number one main Charming. man. Yeah, Pravon. Imagine what your name being Pravon. About the tomb when we're the ones doing our work. Those vestiges belong with the take, not some tourists. Shouldn't be too hard to swipe it out from under them, but we're letting them get ahead. Are we? Or are we letting them bear the brunt of what's to come? Yeah, Vex and Vax are expecting this betrayal, though, right, so Sean. we'll see how it there goes. There will be traps, and they will be deadly. The deadlier the traps, the richer the reward. <sighs> Just keep close. What hmm. the fuck? Huh? Don't want to trip on this. <laughs> Grog. Found the trap. Good job. Yeah, you might not want to be too... Close to Vox Machina. Hi. Lucky I was here. <laughs> yeah, I Bro am. is really trying what? to get his dick wet. Lucky. What the fuck? I mean, I... We're already I... underwater, like... Yep. <clears throat> Idiot. Bro, what the fuck? This might have been my fault. No, no, no. Vex! Vex! Can you hear me? Oh, save your voice. We'll find another way around. Come on. Vex, stay where you are. I'm coming. Well, no use waiting around here. <sighs> I guess we're stuck with her. Mm. Abandonment Maybe issues are abandonment issues, yeah. I'd sooner starve in these woods. If you gave father a chance, you'd see. I'd see what I've seen a thousand times before. Yep. There's nothing we'll do will ever be good enough for him because of what we are. Mm -hmm. You can at least try. Look at a us. A little too happy. We have nothing. You have me. Remember? You never let me forget. I can stand wow. on my own. I'm not helpless, you know. <clears throat> Vexalia, of course you're not. It's just you don't need. Stop telling me what I need. I don't mm. need rescuing, and I don't need you. Whoa. Okay. I like how we're getting this backstory in pieces. Actually, this is kind of cool. That's, oh, that. Oh, that's such a sick transition. Oh, that that might have been the best transition the show's done yet. That was so cool. Incredibly coincidental, but very cool. This show has kind of sick transitions. Get up here, bike. Nice. <laughs> Nothing like a big guy and a little girl. Damn, I make this look good. Bro is way too into that beard. Oh, yeah. Fucking Hulk Hogan over there. What the fuck? <sighs> That's not ancient. That seems something moved into this tomb after it sank. This is terrifying. Oh, Grog, did you just fart? Like, how recently? Wow, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Well, there's the. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's those fish people. Yeah, fuck this thing up. Jesus, nice. We never knew a shield could be so deadly. That is a fucking killer fucking bear. I'd say it's a cocaine bear, but I haven't seen that movie. Oh no, not the beard! Oh, you're fucked. You're done. Not. Bro. Yeah, dude, I literally said that. Bro, that was funny as fuck. What the hell? Bro roars, the beard comes back. Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's craving the blood. That's gonna that sword's gonna fuck us at the absolute worst time. That was a close one, darling. Now the reverse, right? Wasn't that close? <laughs> that deserves a middle finger for sure. 
You gotta you gotta one up on her for about five seconds. Yeah, that bloodlust is starting to look a little sussy. Yeah. Yeah, and you of all people should recognize it, yeah. Well with your connection to the Everlight. Jesus Christ. And they've got a mage. Nice. The last one's always the toughest. But don't worry, I'll save you. Bullshit. I'll save you. Wow. Maybe a third person will save both of you? You are both badass though, Vex. Zara. Let me guess, Vax. Yeah. Jump on. Cowabunga, dude! Yeah, he fell off. Hey, we're vibing, bro. Water. Fucking kill it, better fucking water, Jesus Christ. And there's an arrow in your skull, and that'll do. Nice and easy. All yours, Trinket. Trinket's like, nah, like, that's not a good sack. There's some bad fish. Facts. Are you hurt? Stop worrying about me. I'm fine. Yeah, we're good. Brock, you okay, buddy? He he he, he, had, he has a really bad sister yeah, complex, but... though. No, I mean. When you were fighting those things, you seemed... Pike, we need to press on. You're there right. Could be more of them. And we Wait, should address this where right are now. Zara? We can't leave without them. No fucking way. <sighs> they ditched us. Yeah. I timed it well. We didn't have to do that. I beg to differ. The vestige is supposedly in Pervon's sarcophagus. And of course, there's uh, six of them. Which one is his? Nice. See, you're not the only one who can find shit. Nice. Hey, at least Cash doesn't you impressed? suck. Cause you fucking should be. What the fuck, yes. this guy? Yes, very clever. This motherfucker. You guys can't be that. F yeah, I was gonna say you guys can't be that far behind. Whoa. Looks like some kind of fish orgy. Hmm, I've tried that. It's pretty good. <laughs> what? Them. what? Let's find a vestige. Oh, I could go for Wait. some fish. Oh, I could. I could slam fast. some sushi. Maybe I should have some sushi in like twelve hours or so. It's like 1.30 in the morning, so obviously not the time. But you know. Damn, that sounds really What's fucking good. That? Though. that might be lunch. No. Everyone, just stay put. Don't step on anything. Don't pull anything. Don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Pickle, I'll need your light. Something's down there. Hey, don't keep all the loot for yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. No promises. What a savage. This place has been picked clean. Unsurprising. You know, looters find everything. Ah, Sphinx. Yeah, I was about to say, that's some Egyptian-looking shit. Interesting that Sphinxes exist in this universe, honestly. You should find something, Trinket. What have we here? Put it back and that should trigger something, right? Yeah, I think they I think they found the wrong I think they they went the wrong way. I see. You found it. Well, shall we take a look? 
Maybe we shouldn't. Your brother certainly wouldn't approve. Then perhaps, <gasps> oh. Mr. Pete. Oh, that's all Percy needed to say. Oh. Looks clean. It does. <laughs> That's a dead Death guy. Ward. The Deathwalker's Ward. Brilliant. Oh no, yeah, Percy he might be the wrong person to. Yeah. And now we're getting another one of these flashbacks of Vex and Vax. Oh, that looks yummy. Oh, I could go for some meat too. Fuck, sushi sounded really fucking good. Meat sounds good. Honestly, fish in general sounds good. I don't know. Fuck, chicken sounds good too. I'll eat anything right now. I'm just hungry. Hex? Very quickly, he realized that Hex. it was the other way around, and she's. Stop. What the fuck? What the fuck? No way. I don't buy it. No fucking way. No fucking way. She might be- Bro, what the fuck? Uh, um! No! No! Max, get your ass up here! There's no way. They've been building seconds. it up. What the hell happened? What the fuck? What the- What the fuck?! There's no way. There's no way. There's no way! What happened? You left me. I was lost. Brother, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think... No, you don't understand. You it's don't the other way around. Me. I need I you. need... to not go far from me. Aww. I swear it. Bro, they were building this up. I didn't I, I I didn't even consider for two seconds that was a death flag. What the fuck? <laughs> and they're gonna end the episode. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, that makes last episode so much- Oh, they got a shot of it! Oh. Chirp. Yeah, we know. Meta Pigeon and Tit Mouse and fucking Amazon over here. Whoa. Well- Shit, now I kind of wish I saved this for later. Fuck me. Um, it's amazing how quickly things can change in one episode. What the fuck? Like... <laughs> what the fuck? That... I mean... Unironically, that changes everything. It really adds a lot of weight to last episode, too. Because last episode was the moment that they decided, you know, fuck it. We're going we're gonna to go for it no matter what, right? And it's very poetic that in the next episode, something, this moment happens where, you know, they're committed to this. And, and of course, in such a, like, freak way. And I'm not convinced that they don't find a way to, like, resurrect her. I'm going to assume, like, the way they sold that, Vex is dead. That doesn't mean... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assume necessarily permadeath, but it's it's who fucking knows? It's very possible. That was that just yeah, I mean it's all it takes, right? And oh man. 
So it's so interesting because they were doing some really interesting story uh, development with Vex and Vax. And they, they, they were really building this, this whole thing up of just how badly Vax needs Vax. And it was obviously leading to something that would involve their separation. But for it to be this extreme, Jesus Christ, I, I, that was not on the fucking agenda. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm, I'm kind of shell shocked, man. You know, sometimes, you know, it's always interesting in one of these reactions when we get to a death of a major character like this, and it's just kind of like, what the fuck just happened? And this one's up there, I think, for the most, like, I think I'm still processing what I just saw. Um, I I'm not even, like, emotional. I just, that's cr I think I'm convincing myself that in some form or way they're going to be able to resurrect her. But I'm also, accept I'm accepting she's dead, one form or another. You know, though, like, it's so interesting. I I can't tell you. I can't just say that there's no way they don't kill her though. Like I I'm 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 running through it. Now, again, this is where it's interesting cuz this is where I'm not super familiar. Like I don't I've never played D&D &D in my life. I don't know exactly how like the mechanics of D&D &D work with like character death and stuff. So I don't know. I legitimately don't know how seriously I'm supposed to take this. I don't know if that bitch is dead and that's just the end or like there's gonna there's potentially a way to resurrect her or and it probably depends on just how they want to play the game right so like that's the thing I don't know how to approach this at all I really have no idea and that's so interesting I'm in this interesting spot I like she might be gone that really might be it. That is crazy. I don't know. I because uh, like they've been building up Vex and Vax and like the whole the, the whole separation anxiety that Vax has and it's fucking great. I don't know. I'm just God. That would be a brutal blow if we lost Vax. That would fucking suck. Like I'm all for it because like break my heart, but. Because I love, I love, I love series that have like character, major character death. I think it's, I think it's a thing that just, it just adds to the tension, the drama, and makes every conflict that much more intense. Because you're actually scared about the consequences. So it's awesome, but like that was such a just snap decision moment where just like, and like it's Percy's fault too, and like. One, that creates a rift between Vax and Percy if, if, but, but Percy, Percy's already the dark brooding motherfucker who, who has suffered, who suffered through the entirety of last season. And now he's in his mind, he just killed the woman he loved. How fucked is that? Man, Percy really is going to be my favorite character. If this sticks, Percy, oh, Percy's so going to be my favorite character because the Percy shit just popped the fuck off. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, Percy was kind of the, like, he had his big arc, and I was like, okay, we're not really going to do a lot with Percy for a while because he's, you know, he had this big focus, so, you know, they're going to focus on other characters. I don't know now. Now it feels like Vax and Percy are the two most interesting characters moving forward by a mile. Holy fuck. And, like, the division between them and, like, oh, and what the Sphinx said, what fucking... Osai Osaisa said, fuck, man, that's crazy. And, like, the division and how this can rip Vox Machina apart, regardless of what happens with the Vestige, regardless of what happens with the dragons, with the Conclave, like, this is bigger than the conflict. It's just so interesting. Like, like I said, if this was near the end of a season, I think I'd, like... Like, we're so early in our journey of this, like, second major story arc that it's weird. It feels, it just feels like something so big and it happened in such a mundane way. And yet, like, I don't know whether I should believe it. Like, I believe she died. She died here. 
I'm trusting that. I just don't know whether to believe, will she come back? All right. Is this like a dramatic way to write her off for a while? Or is this a situation where she's never coming back? Like, I don't know. Cause I don't know D and D like I'm not a D and D guy. I've never played it. I don't. And I'm assuming even if I did, I probably wouldn't know. Like, cause I don't know, like it probably is dependent on the D and D game and like how, how you're playing. So I don't know what to make of this. I, I don't know. This is fucking crazy. That was just not on my radar at all. And like normally, see now I'm going to be so much more, anytime they're doing backstory, it's like, oh God. <laughs> because like, I just had, like, I just did not have any fear whatsoever of any of them dying. And so maybe if I did, I would, I would be a little more flagged because certainly like the, the context is there. They were setting it up. They were absolutely setting it up. These flashbacks were setting it up the entire episode. Like, in hindsight, it seems obvious, but it's not fucking obvious. Like, I can't believe they just fucking did that. They set it up. They just casually set it up right in my face, and I didn't even consider it as a possibility. That's fucking mental. What the fuck? Dude, I can't get over that. They just fucking killed off Vex. Dude, fucking Vexalia. What the fuck? What the fuck? The... What the fuck? Uh... Well, I'm not watching any more Vox Machina tonight. I was considering it. Um, I have to stop there. That, 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 that happened. That happened. So it's like... So here's the thing, right? Like, where the fuck do they go from here? Like, do, is it a is it a situation where we where we where we like like I feel like this is a pivot point. Like, I don't even know what this arc is about anymore. Like, are we focusing on the conclave or are we focusing on trying to find a way to save? Vex, is there a split in the groups between those two goals? Like, what the fuck even happens? Because, like, Vax is done. He's gone. And Percy's probably done, too. Vax is done for sure. Percy's probably done. Like, this is going to tear the fucking group apart. The, oh, what the fuck? I mean, she was, like, borderline the leader. You could make a strong case she was the leader of Vox Machina on top of everything else. Like, I feel like she was... Vex was arguably the one that kept them together. Like, if I had to pick one person, I'd probably say she was the closest thing they had to a true leader. I'm fucking stunned. Um, uh, talk a little... I feel like I need to talk a little bit about the episode before that happened. Um, it was a good episode. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, you know, the stuff with Zara and Cash was fun. Uh, you know, their inclusion, you know, going through a tomb, dungeon crawling, all that stuff. It was fun. I thought it was a decent episode. I, you know, like I said, I wasn't, like, it was a solid episode. I didn't necessarily, I probably, honestly, a very solid episode, very good episode. But honestly, I was thinking it might have ended up being possibly even the weakest of the three. Because I think the first two were both really strong. This one was really good too. But I I was nearing the end of the episode thinking, okay, I don't have too much to say about this episode. And then suddenly the ending happened. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense as a cliffhanger. Because, of course, you know, these are three episodes, uh, you know, these uh, Vox Machina, when a season airs, it basically airs for a month, and you get three episodes one day, and then three episodes the next, these three episode batches. So it's kind of a mix of, like, the classic uh, weekly episodic release, and then, of course, like, the batch, like, Netflix style, where they just drop the whole season. Um, it's, like, in between. Arcane did that as well, where they did three, three, and three. Over three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. So it's it's basically the arcane format. And when you do it like that, you're basically setting it up to where it's like, okay, that third episode is going to leave off at a spicy point. 
I don't know what I was expecting. I was not expecting something that fucking spicy. Jesus fucking Christ. I, like, I don't know what to say. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I'm blown away. I was going to record more after this. I'm probably just taking the night off now after this. Like, I mean, I recorded this and I recorded Hell of a Boss earlier, but like, I was going to record some more content, other stuff. It's fine. I mean, I'm like, I don't, I don't need to, I, you know, whatever. It's fine. But like, fucking hell, Vox Machina. They are not pulling any punches this, this arc. This is crazy. Like that first episode was so strong. It was so, they just didn't fuck around. And then that second episode, I was like, you know, I thought we would maybe spend a few episodes in Vasselheim. You know, like this could last a few episodes, you know, at least two, right? And no, we get through Vasselheim in one episode and we're already moving on with the vestiges, the vestiges of divergence and the the Death Walkers Ward, which is such a cool fucking name. Both of those are cool names, a bunch of bullshit. The vestiges of divergence makes me think of Steins Gate. The Death Walkers Ward, I don't know what that makes me think of. It just you know, fantasy bullshit, right? So, like, it fits, but cool-ass shit. And this was a fun episode, but, like, it wasn't... There wasn't, like... It wasn't too intense. The opening was really intense, of course, but, like, it wasn't too much. It was a solid episode that just completely went off the rails in the last two minutes. But, like, the whole episode, they were building it up because the, they kept showing us backstory of Vex and Vax, which is something they hadn't shown up to this point. And, like, I, I, my gut, oh, I don't know, though. Like, because I can't even base this off traditional storytelling instincts because it's a D&D &D game that's been adapted into a fucking show. So I don't know because I don't know D&D &D and I don't know really how it even works necessarily like i have a general idea from fucking media basically but i've never played D, &D in my life i've never watched anyone play D, D in my life believe it or not i just don't fucking know i'm blown away though that was that was that was so like i'm not surprised that some someone got fucked up i'm surprised it was that far of just boom she's dead and like because it was the Death Walkers Ward's, like, curse, like, last line of defense bullshit, I wouldn't be surprised if it's irreversible. And, like, that leads to a whole arc. And, like, who knows where it goes. There's so many cool things they could do. I hope they take advantage of this for Vax's character. And, and Percy's, too, but, but Vax especially. Like, this is a chance for Vax's character to become so fucking good. And I hope that they're able to take advantage of it because this is a, this is the biggest moment of Vox Machina. 15 episodes in, you know, going back to season one, there was a lot of great shit in that Percy arc, but this is the, for me so far, this will be the defining moment of the show. How they handle this, where this goes is going to be the crit, like it's going to be the shit. This is, here we go. Here we fucking go, man. Unbelievable. What a fucking episode. Um, like I said, it was a very good episode, but it wasn't a blow away episode. It, it just had a blow away ending. And now I like, I don't know how to judge that episode at all. And like, I, like I said, I, I, I'm gonna, I, I believe she's dead. I don't know if I just saw like Vex alive for the last time in this show or not. I really don't know. Like I said, if this was just storytelling aspects, like it would be crazy if they pulled that again. Like I just can't judge it against anything because I just don't know enough about, I don't know enough about D and D and I don't, I, I just, I can't vibe it. I don't know. Like I can't even make an instinctual guess one way or the other of what we just saw. Like, I just don't know. And and that is a really interesting feeling because I don't even know if I should start, like, letting myself grieve that, like, one of my favorite characters just got fucking murked or, like, have the hope that they might come back. I just don't know. Um, 
So I'm not going to cry. Uh, it's just that's not there because, I, like, like I said, it, the, the crying is a more of a finality. I think if I get clarification the 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 wrong way, quote unquote, the bad way in the next set or maybe at the end of the season, depending on how the story goes, I could see potentially getting more emotional over the finality. Because part of the death is the finality, and I don't feel finality here because I don't know what the fuck I'm even supposed to feel. And that's just a unique, a unique factor of just the unique circumstances behind this show's, you know, like the meta stuff of behind the show. Um, but... I mean, it was really well done. I really liked what they did there. I thought that death was really fucking cool. And if if, if Fax is dead, like I said, Fax, Fax is going to be so fucking interesting. Percy got even more fucking interesting. And it has another thing to sink his teeth into. We already have the, gro you know, the grob stuff, you know, the, the, gorg, the grog stuff, which is going to be great. Um, you know, Scanlan always kind of has his general thing, you know, his general thing about, you know, kind of being underestimated, underappreciated. That's his whole gimmick and all that. It feels like everyone has something and, you know, Vax and Percy could get really spicy, uh, both individually and as a duo, potentially opposed to each other because Vax starts lashing out. There's so many things they could do with this. Oh, I both like... I hope she's dead for a while, whether, whether it's forever or not. I hope she's dead for like the rest of the season, at least like, like if they can save her at the end of the season, I'd be fine with that. But like, I want some finale. I like, I want some weight to this, even if it's not permanent, they could do some really fucking awesome stuff with this though. And I hope to fuck they do like, this is such an opportunity. I am. I am now, like, uh, waiting on bated breath for the next set. Like, four to six is going to be so interesting. I think, like I said, I loved the the first main arc. Like, I loved the three to 12 arc of last season. But this is the most interested and most, like, what the fuck are they going to do that I've ever been with this show. Now I'm, like, I'm really on the edge of my seat in a different way. It's not just me like appreciating it where it's like, I feel like this is really cool and I really like what they're doing. Now we're jumping into another territory here where I'm like, what the fuck are they going to do? Which is different, right? That's the type of feeling shows like Arcane give me the like, what the fuck is coming next type of feeling. That's a level box mocking that hasn't necessarily hit yet. And, and the fact that I'm even there at all is fucking great. So that's already a great sign that season two is off to a great fucking start. I'm sorry that I kind of just went on and on here. I, I, like I said, I really had very little to say about that episode until the last two minutes. It's crazy how fast things change because I went on and on. This might be there's a good chance. I'm not sure. I'll have to check in the editing. I think this might end up being my longest Vox Machina reaction because I just had a lot to say at the end because all of them have been three episodes, of course, so they're all comparable length, but man, that was fucking great. So anyways... I don't know what the hell I'm hearing, but anyways, that's going to do it for my reaction. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, my Patreon's down below in the description. My Discord server is also down below in the description. You want to check that out. If you want to get in touch with me, that's the best way to do it. Hopefully, these will be directly on YouTube without any edits. Um, I've had really good luck with Amazon in the past with both the first season of Vox Machina as well as the first season of Invincible. So hopefully, that trend continues and Amazon continues to be chill with the reactions. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... Um, Without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. Also, this will be going up on Sundays. Uh, I didn't make that clear before. This, whatever day this goes up on, it's probably most likely going up on uh, the 9th of April. But if, like I, I don't know, maybe it's way further in the future, but it's probably going up on the 9th of April. And whenever it is going up, this will be going up on Sundays. So it'll be this Sunday and the next three Sundays, unless 
I have issues or consistency, you know, not posting, whatever. It should be whatever Sunday this comes out, the next three reactions over the next, you know, the next three Sundays will be the four to six, seven to nine, and ten to twelve. So, anyways, um, Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace. If you can't tell, I'm super hot, but I wanted to add this on to the end of the uh, fucking video. Uh, I want to want to throw out a theory before uh, so I can get this because I was I was gonna edit the video and I was watching the episodes. I was back because I was like it was a great set. I was really into it. And um, sorry, walking around super hot. You guys, in the, I, I'm a fucking weirdo. The shit I do off camera. Oh my god. How I, it's how I got my exercise too a lot of the times when I don't um, get out very often. I mean, I actually do. I and, and usually I try to walk them unless it's unless it's like miles away and you know I'll drive or whatever. But most places uh, around town I'll just walk. But not important. The point is, so I wanted to add on to my thoughts a little bit. I actually believe it or not have a little more to say about the whole Vexalia situation. The one thing I want to add is, going back on episode two, I talked about how episode two really, you feel the weight of episode two after episode three. Now, I don't think this is what's happening, because this would be, like, fucking insane. But in some form or fashion, this does feel like a trial. Like, it does feel very specifically set up, and, and this is this is crazy theory -o. but, like, she she kind of challenged each individual of what they fear most. And I'm almost wondering if those, if this is like kind of a form of trial where like uh, she foresaw the Sphinx, um, Osaya, Osisi, whatever the fuck her name is, but she foresaw this, uh, these events, and this is like a trial. And what come, what happens from here is kind of you know the test, right? Like the the real test is only just begun type thing. I was wondering if there was a little bit of those vibes here. Again. I'm having watched it back. I I really think she's gone, and that's fucking insane. I'm I don't know. I I'm I'm not like tired. Like obviously, I'm sweating my ass off, and I was kind of running around. It's super hot in here and shit. You know, I need to get out of this room, and I will once I once I edit the video. But um, it it was a great episode that really did a great job of getting across how um fucking crazy these characters are and how fucking how much it just like i said that you know i talk about this all the time i talk about this in shows when you do this and you only need to ever do it once but when you do this it changes everything for the rest of the series i will never take for granted these characters i will never just assume everyone's going to be okay this show, I kind of was running under the the expectation, and I kind of do this with all shows, to be honest. Unless I'm going into a show like knowing its reputation or something, I usually go into a show assuming the main people aren't going to die. Now, sometimes you watch the show, you get a vibe of the kind of show it is, and it's like, okay, you can kind of make that assumption. But in most cases, until you get that first major character death of someone that you assumed was was not going to ever die. That's when things change, and that's when you get that moment. And here's the thing. Assuming they don't save Vex and, like, Reviver, like, something, there's no, there's no bullshit like that, which, like I said, I'm not against it, honestly, but, because, you know, there's, there's plenty of... But the point is, if they don't revive her or save her in some context... The show has now forever earned my trust to where now I treat death to any character as a real thing that could happen. And that changes the viewing experience substantially. It really does make things interesting when you think that essentially no character is safe or, or may, maybe a super select few, but basically no character is safe. And, you know, despite all the death that we've seen in this show, I never really considered... I was under the impression that Vox Machina would be fine at least, at the very least, until way later. Maybe towards, maybe much closer towards the end.
But, you know, I, I'm shocked. And so much so that I felt the need to come back on and talk a little bit more about it. Because that was a fucking insane episode. That was... I mean, that was the turning point. Like, the mood of this show... And really, you know... The last arc in season one was super fucking serious. And this took it to another level. But this moment, this death, this scene... change It really does change everything. And now I don't know what to expect from this show. And now this show takes on an entirely different vibe, tone, everything. Everything's different. And it's like, holy fucking shit, here we fucking go. This felt like the holy fuck, let's get it, here we fucking go moment. And that's fucking amazing. I I don't know. I'm just kind of, oh, I'm a little shell-shocked by this. This was very unexpected, and I, I can't wait for the next set. Which I might even watch tomorrow. Like I said, there's a good chance that by the time you guys see these videos, I've finished season two. Maybe I haven't. Um, but there's a good chance I've finished season two. <clears throat> Anyways, I already did the outro, so I'm just going to leave it there. Peace.